All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to uh, publish your presenter course and uh, get it up to your LMS. So let me go ahead and hit cancel and let's get started. So the first thing you'll need to do is go to Articulate tab. I go to Publish, click on that. And this is going to be the same if you're publishing a Quizmaker file or an Engage file by itself. In this case, we inserted those into our practice course. But if you're publishing Quizmaker or Engage by itself, you're going to have the same types of options. So basically, you can publish for the web, Articulate Online if you're using Articulate Online, and LMS. And so um, let's say we publish for the web. Uh, what you've got is you've got your slide properties here or your course properties. If you want to uh, add a title, you can do that here. You can add a description. You can actually start to add more detail. So for example, uh, you can change your thumbnail. Uh, this really comes in handy if you're using the mobile player. So you can change your thumbnail so you don't have to stick with uh, the thumbnail that you get by default. Your description, if you have keywords, um, email. There's all sorts of information you can put in here. And then if you want to learn more about that, just click on this and that'll take you uh, to the community. Um, and then uh, once you've filled out all that stuff, you can choose your publishing options. Now by default, it's going to publish to Flash, which is going to give you your best output. Um, if you do want to publish to HTML5 or for the mobile player on the iPad, you can see those are options as well. Typically what I do is I just select everything. Uh, and then this way, if I uh, decide I want to go from one type of output to the other, I don't have to republish. Now a couple things to keep in mind. Um, flash is always going to give you your best output and the reason is because there's a flash player and you can kind of control the way it works in the browsers. Uh, if you do want to use HTML5, you know one of the considerations that you'll have is um, how you're delivering that. So each browser is going to be a little bit different in how it handles HTML5. If you're using mobile devices, the mobile devices and how they uh, how their memory works and how they process, uh, the information and the media and their browsers are always going to be a little bit different. Um, so those are just considerations because what might work in Flash is not necessarily going to work the same way on your mobile devices. Uh, there's a good website, html5.com. Uh, what you can do is look at the browsers and see how the browsers are ranked. And so you can see that uh, there are some browsers that are ranked a lot higher than other browsers. And so if you're using an older browser, for example, a lot of organizations are maybe using IE9 or Internet Explorer 9. If you're using that at work, odds are that you're really going to be limited in what you can do uh, with HTML5. Uh, but regardless, I go ahead and, and publish in all the output modes. Um, I also do the download for offline viewing. Uh, that's so if I'm on the iPad, I can make it available on the iPad and then I have access to it. I'm not, I don't need to be connected to a network. Now, if you have secure information and you don't want to do that, then you want to make sure you deselect that. But by default, I just have everything selected. Then you can choose some different options here. If you're using um, an LMS, uh, you've got the ability to choose your, your tracking options, right, from SCORM to Tin Can, and then how you want to report and track. And then you hit publish. So let's go ahead and I'll just um, select web and we'll hit publish and we'll see what happens. So it's going to go ahead and load everything up. Uh, it'll publish the course. Uh, one of the things that uh, you'll notice if you're working with presenter is uh, when you publish and then you come back into the course, you make changes and you go back and publish it. Every time you do it, it's going to speed up because it's only going to uh, modify the changes. So if you haven't, um, done much to it, the publishing will be a lot faster. So it's got everything ready to go and now I've got this published folder and I can um, figure out what I want to do with it. I can open the folder and preview the course, and get a zip file, and email it, do whatever I want to with that. And that's basically it. So publishing is actually pretty straightforward. It works the same way in Engage and Quizmaker if you're going to publish those as independent uh, files.